want any drinks? Kombucha? Oh, yeah. I found an easy sparkling black blackberry. Mm. I think I want a super berry. Hey guys, so um we just got into our Tatakina. It is 9:12. We woke up around 4:30 this morning. Um and we planned a work weekend at the cabin. We're gonna put some new, we're gonna put the ceiling in, in one of the bedrooms. That's back there, I don't know if you can see it. Um, Ollie is loading up, there it is. Ollie is loading up the planks so that we can finish one of the rooms. Um, right now it's just covered in plastic and you can, it's been that way for 15 years and so you can see dead bugs and stuff like that, it's not very, very much fun anyways <clears throat> so we're loading up we're about to head to the cabin and we'll do a before and after of the bedroom um, it's really warm today nothing like last time that we were out here I'm actually really hot right now and it should be a really fun ride but we're not gonna bore you with it this time <laughs> anyways we're ready just about just have to load up the uh Snow machine trailer and we're good to go. Okay, what's the temperature? Uh, I think it's around 28. 28, so it's pretty warm. It's nice. Sweet. Well, we got a little stuck here. Snow machine was kind of leaning to the left and our trailer, since it's top heavy, drifted to the left and got stuck in the corner here. So we try to get it out the way it is. And if not, we just have to come back and uh, carry that stuff by hand. We're almost at the cabin. And we got it. That was a big, Mess. Uh oh. Are you stuck again? I got all the lumber here, all the tongue groove boards. Okay. And then, so the cooler, should we leave it outside or inside? Outside. Okay. outside. What's the temperature right now? It's 20. Cool. Inside, <laughs> inside we're at 20, 26 that's Fahrenheit. Not, that's not bad at all compared no. to usual. No, this is a, a big change this time. There's the cooler. Screw gun. Chainsaw. Well, here it is. We got our 1x610 tiny and groove pine at the cabin and we should have enough for our master bedroom. We got millions of nails. A whole box full. A whole box full of finished nails, all hand nailing. And uh, so I guess we'll uh, get the bedroom upstairs cleaned out. Maybe move the mattress. What do you think? Should we move the mattress out of the way? I don't know if we have to or not. We might be able to just cover it cover it and then we can start working from one side up to the center and then we'll go on this side do the same thing to the middle and that's our mission today we're excited very excited finally we don't have to look at plastic flies insulation I mean it only took us how many years <laughs> 2007 was when we started building the cabin and it's been a progress anyway but uh, 
yeah, hopefully by tomorrow morning we don't have to look at it so much, except maybe the center part because we don't have that material cut yet. Besides that, I think we're we should be able to get most of it covered. So, so let's get the cabin we heated up, eat a snack, and then we're gonna hit it hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the exciting part now. Finally, so this plastic's been exposed since 2007. We started working on the paneling a little while ago and uh, kind of held off on it for some time because we were doing uh, work on the balcony and the doors, etc. So finally, we made the decision to get this whole room finished. And then once we get this one all finished, trimmed out, We'll move over to the spare bedroom, do the same thing, and we're using pine. There you go. Okay, last one going up on this side. So we started down here, you can see the coloration difference a little bit. And then we notched out the corner here and we got all the 10 foot boards up to the first uh, at the first side of the ceiling all the way up to the ridge beam right here so I'm gonna nail this one and then we'll move over to the other side okay the stacks getting smaller we're working on the other side and we just noticed it is snowing outside again. Yep. Mm. There it is again. Every time we're here, <laughs> there's something happening. Banding. One fourteen and three eighths, and then we need to cut it the long way to uh, copy that angle of the roof. Are you gonna do the whole thing with the saw? Or are you yeah, gonna? Yeah, just oh. the hand saw. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's it's not a big deal. It's pretty thin wood. So one fourteen and three eighths in length. Well, I cut a piece of wood for the window thing in the office the other day, and it took me like forever. Oh. Uh, no, this saw is pretty good. Once you get the angle, you can just kind of keep cutting along this line here. So it shouldn't be too hard. So I know it's a 12-12 pitch, so that means it's a 45 degree angle. So I'll do somewhere around 45 because most of it's going to get overlapped anyway from the next piece. So. Beginning is always the hard part. I want to make sure you got that angle right. Mmm, uh. smells good. I like, I love pine. Hmm? I don't know how you keep the angle. Hey, it's, it's just, once you get it started, this piece of the saw pretty much wants to follow. You know, unless you fold it differently, it's going to stay the same way all the way So we got this piece in there with a 45 on it. 
and it worked out pretty well in sub right so we're all against all against the wall and also on the rafter at the same time so the next board coming down to it we might do the same thing or uh, turn the board around and should not have a gap at all so Do you have another pair? I'll go down with you. These are your favorite snowshoes, right? Yeah. <laughs> you never tell you that. <laughs> you want to get them? Yes, please. So I put this uh, bottle in there a couple hours ago because the water is coming out really, really slow. But I wanted to make sure this one gets filled up before we go on top and see what the problem is. Because I think we have a little blockage up there on the top of the spring. So, but... What's that? So I hate disturbing it, but I think we have a problem right here from... Uh, the storm last or two weeks ago now. So I'm gonna see what the problem is. Yeah, I think we have to come here tomorrow during daylight and take bring the shovel and clean this off because I think it's just the snow is soaking it up and uh, interrupts the, the water flow. So we'll clean it in the morning. Oh, the snowshoes? Yeah. Are they working out for you? Yeah. Good. Okay. So we're gonna go for a night walk. But it just looks so cozy inside. It's awesome. Snowshoeing in the dark. It's almost midnight, so let's go down to the lake and see what the lake looks like. There it is. Left. All righty. I mean, it's a little packed down already from our last trip. Yeah. And how does it feel?
right. There you go. Run that, run that stump. There you go. Are you having fun? <laughs> yeah, hang on. I'll catch you. Hang on. What are you doing? <laughs> do <you> <laughs> There's nothing very low on uh, chainsaw fuel on this trip here so it's all I got left so I'm gonna delim the tree with my handsaw and then uh, use the chainsaw to cut the log only and hopefully I get this cleared up with uh, what I have in the chainsaw This trip, when we head back to the valley later on, I'm gonna fill up my uh, snow machine trailer with firewood for the house in Wasilla because we're really low on uh, spruce to store the fire at our home in Wasilla. So that's why I'm cutting spruce here. It's all beetle kill, so it's ready to go. Just gotta split it and ready to burn. So two weeks ago when we were out here, we had a, a really bad windstorm and it created a huge drift and over our spring here. You can probably see right here now where the water's coming out straight from the hill. And then just off to the left right here is our pipe. And last night when I was trying to get water, barely anything came out. So I took the shovel to it here a little while ago 
and uh, cleaned the pipe and saw that there was a, a big blockage right on top of the spring. So uh, I'm going to let it clear until we get back next weekend and that water should be nice and clean again. But it was definitely caused by that big windstorm. So right here you can see our ABS pipe where the water is normally going straight through but there was a big rock shifted over right in front of the pipe and also a whole bunch of debris and and then the snow was drifting over and caused that blockage so but it's looking pretty good there's a lot of water coming out of this spring right now so that's good news and it's already mid january so we're doing pretty good this here is the hill where all the water's coming down from and after i cleaned a little bit of an area down here I noticed that there's actually two different sources coming into uh, our ABS pipe for us to get water so we get I'll try to zoom in a little bit here we got one on the left at the same time one on the right so there's lots of water coming down right now So that's where it all funnels together. Nice clean water. Show you guys real quick um, how far we get this weekend with paneling the ceiling and walls. So this is one side of the bedroom, and we had enough materials to get all the way to the ridge beam. And the same on the other side. all the way clear up to the top so the next time we come out here we can finish the uh, interior wall get this all covered and then we close in the ridge beam up here but I'm going to run some cables first of all so we have a light fixture kind of in the center of the room well it's that time again we have to head home. We got everything cleaned up. And my tea. Finish a tea and then we are out of here. Yeah, it's always sad, isn't it? It is. But at least it'll be a nice ride. It's really pretty outside. weird that you can see the lake now because the so many trees are gone. There yeah, the beetle took on a bunch of trees. Alright, bye cabin. See you next time. Is that all we had? Oh, the cap. Okay, I'll get it. I know for the fuel tank. Deep the snow is. And you're 
off the trail. Ugh.